All right, back at it. The rudder on my Hobie broke, uh, kept my kayak out of commission for like two, three weeks. So guys, a great outdoor provision, fixed it up. And well, here I am back on the water. Um, I don't know, um, it's still summer. There's a lot of boat traffic, but we've been in a nice cooler pattern, which is a uh, great reason for optimism. So I think we'll focus on sheep's head mostly, but uh, we'll mix it up a little bit. So let's see what we can do today. All right, we're gonna start around these banks. See if there's any reds around. I'll throw, let's throw a voodoo shrimp for a few. Let's see if anything happens. I don't see much life on these banks though. Missed him. A couple of fish up on this bank then. 20 feet of water with a good amount of structure, so I see some life. Drop one of my faves. See what happens. This looks like black drum sort of bottom, you know, 21 feet. Yeah, I see life here. Get ourselves our mud crabs. Just fishing rocky bottom, or maybe it's wooded over. I don't know. It's one of those two. Mud crab action. <laughs> Let's see what this is. It's got some size to it. I'm just fishing these sod banks, honestly. Oh, I pulled them. Dang. Dang, that was a good fish. I don't know if that was a... a... Not sure if that was a red or a sheep's head. All I know is we pulled the hook on him. Oh, it sucks. Felt like a red, but who knows? Mysterious place here, so... Funny things happen, you know? Should be sheep's head here, man. They like this, uh, I mean, there's a lot of structure. It's, it's mostly trees, but I'm sure the trees have uh, oyster growth on them, I'll find it out. It's a sheep's head, for sure. First sheep's head I missed must have been giant then. That's a good one. Buddy Dan, Insomniac taught me about the, the old sod bank sheep's head. So we need a, a, a net for men as well. Oh, that's a good one, man. Nice sheep's head, man. All right. came out nice and easy. I'm gonna put this guy back, he's on the on the larger side than I would normally keep in the sheep's head department. But I'm kind of curious, so. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, he's 20 incher. Good fish, man. Sod bank fun. All right, peace. got here oh, really 
Makes sense though. Black sea bass. Yeah, they're inshore, but they're usually small. It's like, where do you fish when there's infinite structure? Is the question. Probably anywhere. Anywhere you like. This is the toad. Ooh, even better. That's the bottom that those sheep's head and stuff are on. on the sod bank, baby. All right, we'll tighten up now. Oh. Some pretty nice big sheep's head, man. foot fish aren't that small you know fishing 20 feet down I'm expecting to be decent size big one I like catching the big ones and I'm gonna keep a little one for for uh for dinner but that's a good one man all right pal yeah they're old fish man there's more than enough little ones to catch and keep for dinner, so let those big ones go back. There's absolutely nothing wrong with keeping fish, especially you know you're not you only come down to the coast a couple times a year. I'm no, not I'm not trying to um, throw shade at you at one bit. Just drifting on the bottom, trying not to get hung up, which is pretty challenging. Okay, well I found my ledge again. Spot to get hung. Anywhere you could get hung, there should be sheep's heads. So I got hung up there. Ooh, got a nice bite there. Yep. Mud crab. Oh, really? That's not something that happens that often. Flounder on a mud crab. Yeah, I'm sure if I drop jigs, I'd be catching up all the fighting I want. Oh, there he is in the pack. Old mud crab. Platty. Not a bad one. Well, our season opens soon, but not quite yet. It is midday. There is a lot of boat traffic. Uh, I'm gonna go throw some jigs on some grass now. All right, pedaled over to some different stuff. Let's see if we got anything here. This water is significantly warmer where I am. But. Got me a little flounder. Voodoo shrimp. Great little lore, this voodoo shrimp. Nice. 
Nice flounder. Some dude was getting it on, so I had to, uh, I had to kind of abandon this plan, as in like getting it on. You know what I'm saying? He was getting it on, and I could not tell if it was with himself or if it was another person. So, um, I guess you never want to be uh, disturbed trying to get it on on a weekday afternoon well, on an island. Your secret is safe with me, midday island humper. A couple of solid east wind clouds over there. Uh, that wind's supposed to lay down, it's still blowing good. So pretty glad of my choice uh, where I fished today because I was kind of debating maybe trying out front or just uh, doing some other stuff, but I don't think I'd have a good time out there. So at least that part of it, this trip has worked out. So I don't know about underspins, man. I never use them much. I'm not really in a great area for red drum to be like, oh, they work so well. I and mean, there's probably a lot of out of season flounder. So that's fine. What do you guys think of that presentation though? Think that'll catch a flatty or two? It should. I feel like I just crawled on the bottom. Standard, right? Meets expectations. Flounders on docks. No, no new revelation there. I don't know how I feel about that underspin. Probably won't feel very good about it when I lose it. I feel like it does give a little more drag, but I don't know. There's murky water, is kind of what I was thinking. I like, I use spinner baits sometimes, chatter baits, etc. It's a toad. What on earth? <laughs> oh, guys. Check out this little trigger fish. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I don't think I've ever caught one of these things. I don't know what type. It's not a gray trigger fish. I know that. Let me know. All right. I'm headed in now. Uh, we got the, that rain's really coming down. I didn't really pick a, a prime spot for a... Uh, midday fishing in the summer honestly but i wanted to just try something different is the stratic there's berkeley x9 that's a great braided line uh, that's a one ounce bottom sweeper i believe that's the jigging world uh custom night ranger really nice jigging rod so uh check the video description for links to everything we used and i'm gonna head back into the car to the car right now um it was an interesting day uh, I'm gonna call that Love Island from now on, or uh, Shag Island, I think. Shag Island's a good name. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, years ago, when I used to um, move trains, uh, I forgot what line. I, well, I, long story short, um, yeah, I had somebody getting it on in my in, in my car. I remember once, probably like two, three o'clock in the morning, uh, you know, graveyard shift train. So it's the last time I think I've seen like stumbled upon somebody doing it in public. But hey, to each their own, right? All right, let me get myself back to the car. Thanks for watching, guys. Not a glorious day, but I'm also just kind of fishing for whatever bites and not quite a prime spot either. So I uh, had a good time doing that. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch up with you on the next one.